The biggest difference you're going to notice with 4 to 5 is you no longer have to upgrade everything from the stick. You don't have to do all your ECU upgrades before you do the monitor software. The very first thing you do, and this is a prototype version so I have an extra screen there. Okay, so now I want to upgrade my monitor because on 5 I'm doing the monitor first. I have my stick, put it in the back of the monitor, and I will still want to go to systems and utilities and provision USB for upgrade. Difference with 5 is it actually verifies the files are on here. Version 4, I could have stepped, stuck an empty thumb drive in there and it just provisions nothing. It doesn't tell you whether there's anything on here. This one actually checks to make sure you actually have files because it's saving all the files for the ECU upgrades on the monitor. You no longer have to have the stick. Once you program the monitor, it's done. So now I can confirm that everything's there. Hit yes. So you just hit the upgrade button at the top. Operation requires restart, so every time you do this, it's going to want to restart the monitor. I hit that. Now step one comes up, it says the wizard will guide you through the process of loading firmware onto the Apollo hardware. So you hit the arrow to go next. And this part is different. So what it's going to do is it's going to look at the firmware on the ECUs and compare that to the firmware that's saved in this software and it's going to tell you what has to be updated. So in this version going from five, this five to the other five, firmware version, the only thing that's changing is the main CPU firmwares. The EM24s are the same from this version to that and also the auxiliary channels are the same. So it doesn't need to upgrade those. If it did, then it would just simply list that here that it's going to upgrade the other ones as well. So now when I hit the OK button, it's going to go to that same screen, but now it's going to start and it's going to say transferring firmware. Right now this one says CM43. So however many CM40s you have, whether you only have two for tank five and tanks one through four, it would start on two. But this one's got three, so it starts at the highest one and it goes through there. It still takes the same amount of time to do that, but you don't have to switch profiles. As soon as it's done one, it jumps to the next one. Then it'll say CM42. Then it jumps to the next one, does CM41. When it gets to that 90, around 90% 90 on CM41, it does the same thing as it did on the other versions. It says uh, communication lost, CM41. But it also says on the screen that it's restarting the ECU. And then it'll switch and say it's updating the auxiliary channels. So it's going to update your auxiliaries if you had for the EM24s and if the auxiliaries need to be updated in the CM40s. So you've got about a half an hour that you can uh, work on something else instead of having to sit here and run back and forth changing plugs and learning different stuff in. So I'm just going to cancel it so we don't have to watch this for another half an hour. I'm just going to hit OK there and it would do a restart if I let it go all the way through. So that's the really nice part about version 5 is it's a lot easier to do the updates.